keep telling y'all. I keep telling y'all, but y'all y'all don't listen. Y'all don't listen. Y'all come into the comment session. Y'all say that I'm wrong. I'm trying to I'm 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 trying to uh discourage young drivers from coming in here. Y'all saying a lot at me. Y'all y'all saying that just because y'all do this, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. Y'all keep saying that there's ways around it. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you like what we do over here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit all those buttons that show support for the channel. We're going to break. She's not a trucker. She's not a trucker, but she in the trucking industry. So what we're going to do, we're going to break Life on the Road Recruiting. Definitely check her out at life and life on the road recruiting.com. You can also catch her on Facebook and YouTube. She definitely has a YouTube channel that you guys could go check out. If y'all need help with recruiting, they can help you out. And if you have any questions about anything that's concerning, that's cause that's concerning the FMCSA's clearinghouse and the SAP program. She is the one to go to. It's coming. And it's coming soon. What's coming, Lockout? Hair follicle testing for pre-employment drug screening is going to become a reality. Right now, the FMCSA only requires urine. Okay? But the Trucking Alliance which is all of the mega carriers. You guys said in my comments, because I, I made videos about this all the time. I talk about it all the time. And I keep saying that if you smoke weed every day and you're coming into the trucking industry, it's not a good mix. I get a lot of people in the Facebook groups over here asking, yo, where do what companies is, is hiring that's not doing hair follicles? Or... What do, what do I need? How long do, does it take? Smoke weed every day. The, the circumvent out of your system. Or, or what kind of concussion is out there that I need? Smoke weed every day. So it won't show up in my system. I get all those comments, questions all the time. And when I go and answer them, you guys come back at me like, oh, well, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, I smoke weed every day. I got a clean drug test. Okay, that's you. That's you, guy. But for the people that been smoking. Smoke weed every day. Damn near all day life. And now up all of a sudden, they want to come into the trucking industry. Now they want to, now they want to know how to get clean or, or what. Because, see, right now, the FMCSA is not requiring uh, the hair follicles. But they are. They're coming real soon. And in this clip right here. Hold on. Y'all ready for hair drug testing? Get ready. In an article released yesterday, the Trucking Alliance made another pitch to the FMCSA to allow uh, hair drug testing in trucking. Like right now, a lot of companies do hair drug testing, but the DOT only recognizes urine. Hair drug testing is coming. The mega carriers are pushing to the FMCSA to allow hair drug testing as a FMCSA DOT recognized drug test. They're saying that thousands of drivers are failing hair drug tests at their companies and they can't report it to the clearinghouse because it's not recognized by the DOT. Guess what? They listen to mega carriers and they will soon be doing hair drug testing. Get your life together. I've been telling y'all for years, get your Smoke life together. If you're a truck driver, get ready to do hair drug testing. The Trucking Alliance, which is made up of a lot of mega carriers, these are carriers like U.S. Express, J.B. Hunt, Knight Transportation, May Trucking. Look, the list goes on and on. 
they've told the FMCSA that they want hair drug testing to be the same as urine drug testing. There are thousands of drivers that have gone to their companies and failed a hair drug test. We know because we had five go last week and fail. As many times as we say, hey, are you 110% sure? Look, we can send you to take a practice test. And they still go and fail. Right now, hair drug tests are not reported to the FMCSA Drug and Alcohol Clearinghouse. If this goes through, hair drug tests will be reported to the FMCSA Drug and Alcohol Clearinghouse. And guess what? I cannot wait. Because y'all don't listen. I've been telling y'all for years. It's going to become a reality. Hair follicle test is going to become a reality. You want to know why? Because according to the Trucking Alliance study, twice as many drivers would have been disqualified from driving if a hair drug test was completed for their pre-employment screening instead of a urinalysis. 1.43 million drivers pre-employment urinalysis Reports reported to the Federal Drug and Alcohol Clearinghouse with about 500,000 urinalysis and hair test results submitted those hair follicles that they have flunked, that they have flunked, would have been, would, would have been submitted, then those drivers would not be driving right now because they was able to find a company that only do urinalysis and they was able to get in. What do you guys think in the comments below? I'm going to open it up to you because it's coming. It's coming. Probably next year, probably year at the next. But just know that the hair follicle test is going to become a reality. Smoke weed every day. For the FMCSA clearinghouse. If you fail... Of course, you're going to be stuck in there and you're going to and it's going to take a little bit to get back out. We're breaking truckers over here at the Lockout Man podcast show. Today, we broke life on the road recruiting again. Make sure you guys go and check her out. She's on YouTube, Facebook, and you can probably find her on the Web. She's good at she's good at what she does. She can help you guys find a job as well as help you out with your FMCSA clearinghouse and SAP situations. All right. Until next time, everybody, stay tuned for the next breaking truckers coming soon. <laughs> <laughs>